All right, guys, welcome back. Today, we are gonna try and clarify medical gas. It's one of the most complex issues in the biomed world, and that is because it's garnered and curated by NFPA 99 and uh, OEMs, all different OEMs have their own different proprietary fittings and whatnot. So let's go ahead and go through some of them. We'll go over some of the most common. We'll go over some of the uh, med gas that you're gonna find along with some of the fittings and maybe some of the other details that maybe you didn't know about med gas. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, so first off, uh, medical gas has a lot of options, all right? These are all different types of fittings, different attachments, different uh, options that you can get. It's very complex. So please bear with me. We're gonna go through all of these. So one of the most common ones you're gonna see is this yellow tubing. And the yellow tubing is gonna be med air. Medical air is compressed atmospheric air. So it should be around 21% oxygen. Um, it's not got any anesthetics or anything through it. It's just regular compressed air. It does have a certain dryness requirement. Um, no purity requirement, just a certain dryness because it, you know, it's going to be running into medical equipment. Um, the next one that you're going to see very commonly is going to be the green. And green should always be for oxygen. Oxygen is an oxidizer and it can make other things flammable. On oxygen, oxygen fittings, anything to do with oxygen, should never use petroleum-based lubricants. Only approved lubricants should be around oxygen whatsoever. So do not ever put lubricants on the tubing to get it to fit over hose barbs. That is a no-go. So red tubing, along with the yellow, is going to be an atmospheric air, but it's gotta meet a certain purity, and that is because red usually goes for instrument air. Instrument air has to be ultra pure. It is garnered, it is regulated by NFPA 99. Red is a very special case, all right? It should not be interchangeable. If you have red, it should be for instrument air. I believe it's 99 point something percent pure. Um, the next one, we have a compressed hose, compressed air. You can see that it has a braid that goes inside it, and that is because this type of air right here can be for a variety of different ones. I have seen oxygen run through this one. I have seen, um, you know, vacuum, this being used for vacuum. It's got multiple different uses. Just remember, it could be carbon dioxide. It could be an oxidizer. Be cautious whenever you see the clear, okay? Next is purple. One of the most widely unknown hoses out there, and that is because that is WAG waste air gas and this one here is often interchangeable with the white tubing and that is because it's often hooked up to suction regulators waste air gas is often plumbed into anesthesia machines so uh, when a patient breathes out the anesthetant and the med air it needs to go somewhere and it goes up this guy into the facility wherever it goes black black is usually reserved for nitrogen. So uh, nitrogen is usually used for powering instruments, especially for neurosurgery, because you can't use electricity around the brain. So often a lot of neuro instruments, uh, saws and stuff like that, uh, shavers, those instruments are gonna be powered with nitrogen. So this one here is gonna have special fittings as will all these, but these ones here are gonna be a higher pressure um, Next is the blue. Blue is a special one. You're gonna find that almost solely in uh, operating environments as because blue is for nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide is laughing gas, as you guys more commonly know. And um, this one here is gonna be pretty regulated because nitrous oxide can be abused. Gray. Gray is a special one. It's for carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is used in all sorts of medical environments and it can be used as a propellant. It's often used for insufflation, insufflation. <laughs> and that is because the body naturally adapts well to um, carbon dioxide. It's non-flammable. The body tissues respond well to it because they naturally emit carbon dioxide as part of the respiration process. Um, carbon dioxide 
is found in all sorts of areas, you're gonna use gray. The aforementioned white tubing. White tubing is going to be for suction. Um, it is interchanged often with the clear tubing and the wig, the wag, the waste air gas, purple. But um, you notice one thing about these, they all say that they're conductive. You see that? Interesting. Uh, Phoebe Medical, we custom build hoses to various lengths, all different types of fittings. And we're gonna go over fittings in just a moment because you can see there are a lot of them. And based on your particular application, if you say you need carbon dioxide, but you need a disc fitting at one end and the other ending, you might need a Omita connection or something like that. We can custom build those. So whatever type of hose you need, you let us know. We crimp them. We have all the special tooling here. We make them the all different lengths and we use nothing but the best hoses. All of them are conductive hoses. And uh, the reason it's conductive is because we want to decrease the risk of fire and spark hazard. So the hoses, um, because of most polymers will build up a static electricity, these hoses here, as they touch things like these racks and whatnot, they will disperse any static electricity charge that they have. So when you open up a coiled up set of this hose, you will not get a static discharge. So we use nothing but the best hoses and we use nothing but the best fittings. Some of these fittings you will see very commonly. So we have disc fittings, Omita fittings. Uh, a lot of hospitals use those. Some hospitals use the, the uh, stainless steel uh, that comes on a lot of uh, European equipment. The uh, Afnor, we don't use those. The Schrader style. A lot of hospitals still use Schrader. That's a, kind of an older style. Chemtron, you might see those. Puritan, definitely see some of those. Din, haven't seen any of those. 90 degree swivels, that's an option. Uh, so when you get to nitrogen, then you start seeing stuff like this BS, the British Standard. Um, there are a whole different types of connections. You can get uh, quick connects, check valve units. Instead of getting a loud blast of air when you disconnect something, check valves. We can put check valves in your hoses. Dual outlet blocks. So let's say you need a separate oxygen line in an ICU room or something. We can build out special breakout boxes like this so you can connect multiple hoses to one port. You're good to go. Uh, we have various types of filters, particulate and for moisture separation. Hose barbs. We handle all sorts of different types of hose barbs. And uh, we do have 90 degree fittings and stuff like that. Compressed gas fittings, uh, the high pressure hoses, you're gonna find these. Uh, it's got a stainless steel exterior. That is because that is abrasive resistant and it handles high pressure of like bottled carbon dioxide. So most of these hoses here are going to be for wall gas, which has strictly regulated pressures. But when you get the bottled, that's when you're handling much higher pressure. So bottled oxygen, bottled nitrogen, even bottled carbon dioxide, much higher pressures. And we also handle a variety of different yoke assemblies. So let us know if you need custom hoses, we can build it out, no problem whatsoever. And guys, if you have the Phoebe Now app, you can find it on either Android or Apple store. Go and get the Android, uh, I have the Android version on my phone. Get the FOB Now app. If you need a custom hose, it allows three photos to be attached to the, the request. You can take a photo of one end of your hose, take a photo of the other end of your hose, send it off to us, tell us what length you need, how many you want. We'll build it out for you, no problem. So guys, that's as quick as I can give you a description of Medgas. There are a lot of rules regarding Medgas. Uh, I think it's NFPA 103 and NFPA 99, so for compressed gas systems. But um, there are a lot of parts to it and it's it's not easy and that's why I created the Phoebe Now app is to make it easy for you guys so you just take a photo of one end you don't need to know what it's called you take a photo of the other end you might not even know what the color is for but that's okay because we know we're the experts all right so guys thanks for watching hope you learned a little something about medical gas systems it's a complex topic and I'm still learning myself thanks for watching